Ah, okay. Here we are. <laughs> Didn't realize the video started. Okay. Hair has gone cray. So, oh no, my necklace fell off. Okay, so, oh. Welcome back to another episode of Manifesting with Crystal. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. So today we are going to talk about, just forget that for now. We're going to talk about my favorite crystal. They're really all my favorites. Honestly, I don't know what I'm talking about. I love them all, but another one of my favorite crystals, and that is this bad, beautiful beauty amethyst. I love amethyst. First of all, okay, look at this perfect, just shimmer and sheen and like glimmeriness. Does that not make your heart happy? It makes my soul so happy. I absolutely love it. Amethyst. So here's why I'm talking about amethyst today because who does not want more money? Who does not want more abundance? Who does not want more high vibe? And amethyst is the crystal of spirituality. It is the crystal of high vibe. It's a crystal of abundance. And what's interesting about amethyst is that amethyst was used back in the day. They made goblets out of amethyst for people who over drank, like people who drink too much or had a tendency to become addicted to it. An amethyst goblet would help you resist that temptation to be, to over drink or to get too drunk or be addicted to something because it is actually the crystal that helps you break addiction, addictions because it's just so beautiful and it's just so spiritual and it connects with the divine. It connects with your spirit. It connects with your crown chakra, which is like your infinite connection to the divine, all of your like spiritual wisdom, like that whole vibe, like that's what amethyst is all about. Now, what's interesting is that also in feng shui, which you guys know, I'm obsessed with feng shui and I've always done everything with the energy of the home. I just love it so much. Purple is the color of wealth and abundance, and it is the color that you want to put in your money corner and your abundance corner. So a trick that I always used and something I talk about in High Vibe Home, my e-course, like my online course, you can get it, just go to my website, is that a trick for feng shui is instead of painting like a wall purple or putting a big purple something or another in that wealth corner, which feng shui suggests that you do, I always just put an amethyst crystal. One, because it is so beautiful, but it's a really good way to add purple to the feng shui corner of wealth and abundance. And it's a great crystal for connecting to your spiritual center, just to be balanced. It's just a great abundance crystal. I mean, look at the abundance of beauty happening. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's so high vibe. I just love it so much. And a tip for you guys in how to use amethyst crystal is I like to put this in the upper left-hand corner of my desk. Now I always feng shui my desk because I feel like you need to have good energy while working, right? Especially most of us are now working from home. Um, you know, we really need that high vibe in our workspace. So amethyst is really good for that. When I put it in the upper left-hand corner of my desk, that's putting it in the wealth and abundance corner. So it's attracting new business. It's attracting spiritual downloads, spiritual insights, spiritual wisdom, divine opportunities. It's just really, really good. I actually bought one for my boyfriend to put in his new office. And I always recommend anybody put amethyst crystal in your workspace. I have always, always, always put it in our wealth corner in our home. And I remember the first time I did it, we actually received an influx of money, like as a couple during that time. And our baby ended up getting, um, a big amount of money from a relative, like a friend. So it's just kind of always works out really, really well that you see an uptick in your abundance and just your spiritual capacity your creative ideas, all the things really come from amethyst. So if you are looking to attract new business opportunities, attract abundance in clients, abundance in ideas and creativity, and really a reminder to connect with your spiritual self, amethyst is your crystal. 
I actually, you guys know, I'm always wearing La Vashlina jewelry crystal bracelets because they attract all the high vibes that I want and need. And I'm currently actually wearing an amethyst one. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really beautiful. And I just feel like creative ideas and spiritual inspiration has really been so great since the past couple of days that I have been wearing it. So if you do not have amethyst in your life, I highly, highly recommend you do. Um, if you're looking for some great amethyst resources, like where to get amethyst, I would try your local metaphysical shops or spiritual stores. You can also try some interior design stores. They've been actually carrying crystals. There are crystal decor items, crystal book. What are those things called? Like bookmarks, book stoppers, book, you know, bookends, bookends. Um, so that'd be a really great thing to add to your bookshelf something that you see every day, but it won't really stand out. Now, if you wanna learn more about the feng shui corners and the wealth corner, where that is and where you can put your amethyst crystal, you can go to my website and there's plenty of blog posts about it. You can sign up for the newsletter and download a whole like map, or you can just Google the Bagua map and learn more about it. Um, my ebook for manifesting with crystals has all the details and the information. So if you want that, you can go download that too. But my biggest, biggest tip is just to start by getting one. Like this one's pretty cute, right? It's like five inches high. It's really, really pretty. And I keep this on my desk. Like this is the one I put up here in the wealth corner. And then this one I actually put in the wealth corner of our home. So it just sits in the, if you're sitting at the door, it's the far left-hand corner of your home. So that's where I like to keep this. You can also keep it in the far left-hand corner of your office. Um, you may also want to put an amethyst crystal in your bar area. It's really, really good for helping you restrict yourself from overindulging in any area really, but the bar may be helpful. And then I also like to put this um, in the bathroom. I don't know why, I just think it's so beautiful. And I feel like the bathroom is such a zen spot. It just really looks so pretty with the natural light shimmering. So I like it there too. Um, all right, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to teach you all about crystals. I want you to learn all the fun things because they're just so beautiful and so much fun. And amethyst is a really, really good one to begin and to start with. Again, when you want to cleanse your crystals, you cleanse them at the new and the full moon. And you can also give them an intention. Like when you cleanse them and you kind of let them sleep under the moonlight, the next morning you can grab your crystal, you can hold your crystal and say, like kind of hold it and speak to it and kind of say, here's what I want you to do for me. Like for this month, I would like some creative inspiration. I would like some new opportunities. I would like a bunch of money to just fall in my lap this month. I need some money opportunities. That's what amethyst will do for you. So go get yourself some amethyst and have a beautiful day.